I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will discuss with you the best and the easiest way of sketching cosine function or sinusoidal functions where there is no phase shift. So in this particular example we will sketch a graph of at least one cycle of h of t equals to 15 cos 2 pi by 5 t plus 20. Now when you see the equation we know 20 is the axis. 15 is the amplitude. So the maximum is going to be 15 plus 20. Minimum is going to be 20 minus 15. So we kind of get the range. That is one thing. Second, very important to find the time period, right? So what we know from here is that maximum is 20 plus 15, which is 35. Minimum is 20 minus 15, which is 5. And time period is 2 pi divided by 2 pi by 5. So let me write 2 pi by 5 which is equals to 5. So that is the time period, right? So these parameters help us to make the scale and then sketch the graph. So let's begin by the vertical axis which is maximum is 35. So if I take a unit as 5, I think it will be good, right? So let this each unit be 5. So 5 is going to be my minimum. Then this is my axis, so axis is 20, so it is 5, 10, 15, 20, so we'll draw a dotted line at 20, that indicates the axis for the graph, right, so this is at 20, so let me write down 20 here, so this is 20 and that is 5, okay, the maximum for us is 35, that means 15 more than this, 1, 2, 3, each is 5, so that is kind of maximum for us right so that is maximum and the minimum value is this dotted line now this is not the axis this is just a guidelines for us okay now let's analyze the time period so one full time period for a cycle is five units what we normally do is divide this five into four equal parts so so how to select a scale that is what we are discussing right so horizontally we'll divide 5 by 4 so we get uh, let's say 1.25 right so in fractions so each if I take unit as one fourth of the cycle then each unit will be 1.25 at least one so what I will do here is so that is my 5 by 4 or 1.25 but one quarter, let me say this as, uh, as equals to one quarter of the cycle, right? So one quarter, now two units as one, two quarters, three quarters, and the fourth quarter. So this is my one full wave, right? I could draw one, two, three, and four more as we go along, but I think I get one full wave from here to there. So that is how, uh, you know, the things are spaced. Cosine function. Cosine function starts with maximum, right, and goes to axis, minimum, axis, maximum. So now what we will do is we'll start with the maximum, right, there's no reflection, so maximum, do you see that? And then next quarter it goes to the axis, then it goes to the minimum, then it goes to the axis, and then it goes to maximum. That completes one full cycle, and this process is repeated. Do you see that? It, this is repeated. We have some space. So let me just make some. Okay, that's okay. So that is how we could, you know, get the points, which are the key points for our function, right? Most important is, once you have the points, to give you the shape. You should not draw with straight lines, kind of. It's not an absolute function. It should have a curve, right? This portion is like concave up. Let me, let me show you how. So like this, do you see that? And this is concave down, right? I kind of made it more than required. Uh, I mean, you understand why? Because I just wanted to make sure that you understand that it is not a straight line, but a curved thing, right? So it's kind of like this, okay? So that is how the wave is. So, and that represents the cosine function for the given problem. So let's go through these steps once again. What we need to do is draw the axis. We know axis is at y equals to 20. So this is my first step, axis. Second step is find maximum and then minimum, right? So that gives us the range, right? 
So I have shown this range with this dotted line and then we find the time period t and also we divide the scale into quarter cycles of time period. So this is the time period for us is 5, right? So we divided each into like multiples of 5 by 4, which is 1.25, right? So then it's a 2.50. Do you, do you get the point, right? And then 3 times 1.25 will be 3.75, right? And then you get 5. So like this, we'll make 6.25 and so on, correct? We can add 5 to this, get 750 here, and continue your scale, right? Of course, we begin with 0 on the scale. So, and then once you get your points, which are for cosine function, maximum on the axis, minimum on the axis, maximum on the axis, minimum. Repeat this pattern. You can draw as many cycles as you want, correct? But join them with a curved line, which looks like a cosine function, as I've shown here. This is indeed not so good as I overdid it in, <laughs> in the process of explaining, right? But I hope you get the point. This is how you should easily be in a position to sketch a sinusoidal function. Thank you and all the best.